What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle, and today we're talking promos. That's right, promos. Top 10 of this year. We're almost done. I don't know if we're going to see too much more that's going to be released post-summer heat. We've had a lot of new iterations. We've had some good ones. We've had some flops. We've had some stuff that's kind of in between. If you like the video, like the video. Support the video. It's free. Some of you guys act like we're charging for likes over here. Come on. Or that somebody gets something on the back end. Just plays into the algorithm. We keep it a buckaroo. Transparent. If you don't comment below talking about some of your favorite promos or some of your least favorite, I'm also a little bit lightweight disappointed. Just slightly, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. What's a song? Oh, just a little bit. Uh, there's something with 50 Cent. Just a little bit. I'm not. Damn, baby, all I need is a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit. I don't think this is good. I'm hurting that. If you don't know what a promo is, when EA releases new foot items. Usually it's a colorful player on a card. Sometimes multiple colors. We get a gradient. This is my list and the criteria is simple. Was there hype? Did you want to unlock or pay for these players? Open some packs, grind it out, make this happen, get to trade it. Looking at the marketplace. Were you excited? Want to put these guys in the motion. Time, period, usability. Were you able to activate these foot items? Two to three months down the line, post release. Were they active? Active. This is important, especially with the weekend league, division rivals, even beating up on your friends. That sounds abusive. It's meant to be that way. Current value. I'm not talking about coins. Uh-uh. We're not talking about price points, but the players that have been released, how many can you still get into a starting 11? Are they super subs? Do you put them into some level of a rotation? Do you believe they still hold current value? I'm not going to hold you up. Cue a swoosh. Choo, choo, choo. Number 10, headliners. I like the concept. Execution, decent. Makes it into my top 10. Brand new. Foot items looked clean, crispy. We had an orange, red, little touch of perp. It's a love touch. And the way this works, simply players were upgraded based on their real life performance. And they could continually be upgraded based on that performance. 95 overall Neymar. You know him well. This was a gift from the FIFA gods. He was a blessing. We're talking upper tier, the Rolex of releases. Neymar is the Brazilian you will never forget. Not in this year's installment, any iteration, they all put on a clinic. Maybe he should rebrand Dr. Neymar. Not sure if that flows. Sounded better up here than, than right here. Samedo, you want to talk about overpowered? One of my favorite fullbacks to use currently, still at this point of FIFA. He's got long-term credit, overpowered, resilient, wing certified. If he wanted to fly an airplane, I trust him. We're not going down in flames. It's not happening. Luis Mertens, 33 years young with some of the cleanest, the crispiest footwork. No KFC. This isn't Popeye's chicken. We're not talking about churches and those biscuits. He's just got the footwork to kind of bring together the dream. I'm telling you, his closet selection, serious business. Ultimate Scream. Always look forward to this release early in the year, October. That's when Halloween takes place. Or I'm completely wrong and I know nothing about apparent holidays, get togethers, kickbacks parties. I'm not sure what Halloween goes down as. It's not really a holiday. Celebration? Generally, this was a solid release. Players get kind of spooky. Frankenstein, Casper, Dracula, werewolves. I am running out of beast to discuss. I know you remember PK, 90 overall. And at this period of the game, oh yeah, give you that big body. And his value point, if you're looking at not only usability, but price, good to go. Green light, no hesitation. Signe, wow. Ooh, an agile maestro. Italians were eating pasta for dinner on repeat. I'm saying that like it's something we would not be doing anyways, but Insigne was a reason to go ahead and run up Additional bread with dipping in there, spaghetti, whatever you're into. Easy usage rate, Ibrahimovic, dare to Zlatan. I was surprised how many releases we've actually received with Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Kind of tells you he still has that clout. Very special individual. And even though he's so well known worldwide, I don't feel that he receives the accolades, the recognition, the attention that he deserves for his on the pitch action, deliverables. 
goal scoring record if he wasn't in the cristiano and messi era a lot of you would be saying this guy is one of the best ever greatest you might even bring together your little friend your pet goat put him into the discussion strong opinion i like ibra who remembers scream for mino this was the beginning of that pairing that partnership center mid holding mid you need that secondary man that can get forward attack the space skill moves not necessarily as traditional really created this year's meta the attacking counterpart but he could still play defense still break up plays still had a big enough body to go with that agility the side to side movement easy on the eyes and a great set of teeth this was my brazilian bonnie and clyde or clyde and bonnie foot miss i'm a festive individual you've seen me dress up as santa claus not just in december De Gea, free money, next to nothing. 90 overall, and you felt that upgrade. We all know what De Gea wanted for Christmas, and it wasn't a clean sheet. Read into that as you will. What else? Notable discovery drops. And these are some players that maybe were slightly on the radar, but they had a breakthrough during foot miss. Simon, 84, a tall. Woo! A tall gets busy. Jerome. Also an 84. This is the collective of the 84s. Suzoko, he, we had an idea. He was already in that overpowered conversation. Renato Sanchez, just the 85 overall Mendy alone. You got to have foot miss in your top 10. I used him a few weeks ago before I upgraded the summer heat. He's that good. Facts. Facts. Future stars, I know you remember Jao Felix. Maybe he didn't live up to the hype, but this release, this foot item, I've always liked what he has in terms of creativity, being able to penetrate the, the box and find space and the one twos and this essence or aura when he's on the virtual pitch, the way that he beats defenders. Can you tell him a fan? Maybe I just like Portuguese players. Tenali, first glimpse, Italian, rude hullet. He's been loading up on carbs to control the midfield, eating raviolis and having a side dish of defenders. I'm just the messenger, don't come after me. What else? Hudson Adoy, 89 overall, kind of underrated. Mason Mount, Sar, Lodi, the left back, Brazilian flavor. Yes, sir. Flashback foot items. They're classic, but they're also consistent. And there's certain players every year. I know that their initial or their base release is not that exciting, but I'm waiting for the flashback. Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back. Racks on racks on racks. I want the reiteration, the reintroduction, that premium quality catch a moment, save a moment, the glory days. Modric, 96. Murdens, 95. Neuer, 92, feeling like Neuer from the past, saving everything. If you can get him into the squad, Bundesliga would be tricky, but you had that Boateng. Huh. Vidal, Charisma, Paulinho, and Paulinho was released very early on. If you picked him up, that was also one of those early signs, a little early notification that we're going to have some box-to-box -box goodness in FIFA 20. Team of the year, uh, the complete 11 or the complete 12. There's a little less hype for me with team of the year for two reasons. One, we know it's coming, and two, a lot of us can't afford that many of these players. Even if you've been grinding the game, or even if you inserted a little of that back end change, the change in your pocket, the leftover change. Maybe you're not getting any of these guys with leftover change. But Messi, Virgil, Cristiano, Mbappe, KDB, everybody was solid. Who's not good from this list? Maybe you can make a case that you didn't want Alisson. But since this release, these players have been endgame. Frankie De Jong. Where does he slot into your overall midfield? That guy has to be in the top five in totality of all central and center defensive mids. Just has that extra oomph. Shapeshifters. And this reminds me of the show Supernatural. It's been running forever. I don't know if the show is ever going to end, but it's one of the creatures that they run into in that show. I have no idea if this reference point is connecting. If it does, say something in the comments right now. Pause the video, please. But in FIFA, shapeshifters applied to players that either swapped positions or they swapped their dominant foot, which was very important depending on the, the double dip action where you're naturally positioned on the virtual pitch. Game changing for the promos. Gotta give some credit. Whoever was at the EA round or square or rectangular table, this was a good idea in my opinion. And this is when Ben Yedder, 90 overall, he truly evolved to Ben Yedderism. It's almost as if it's his evil older brother. It's a bit of a bully. Maybe a downright thug. Not following rules, limits, restrictions he's not gonna be cut short the man's having a good time every single weekend charlison big bumps 
We got a big preview. We are ready for the movie. When was that coming out? I'm comfy. Put me on the couch. Let me sit back in the recliner. We saw that during team of the season. That's what I was foreshadowing. Perhaps the most underrated from the release. Correa, 88 overall, left back, and you needed left backs in general, not just Premier League. We were limited for options and variety and competition. That position was struggling, and a lot of people didn't take notes. They didn't jot this down. The community didn't highlight how good Perea was and really still is. But if you knew, you capitalized, just like when you start a sentence. Who else? 88 overall, Alaba, center back, Lucas, Oof. burner, back door action kondogbia underrated as a center back didn't see him used that much i enjoyed him had the skills too and then atal started becoming a legend we talked about ben yetter shifting into ben yetterism atal was activated going to aa meetings foot birthday what mbappe 94 phenomenal best attacker in the game nominee or he's in the category he's on an early ballot the selection tell me i'm wrong he's better than this team of the season the same with griezmann 92 griezmann Gets busy, feels different, a little plot twist, messing up the scouting report for everyone. You've always been told you gotta take away that left foot. Well, now he's equal footed. Come on. Same could be said with Di Maria, with Rashford, with Gareth Bale. Yo, this was a killer release. Just looking through the players. Of course, you had another Virgil, the same Maximin, Gucci. Didn't want to see Gucci. You don't want to see Gucci now. Well, unless you're going into a Gucci store, which you're probably not doing because we're quarantining. And even if you went in the store, that doesn't mean you can afford the Gucci, but you get where I'm going here. He's got the headband, big time energy. Suzoko, big body in the midfield. Still dominant. Chuki, Lozano, Mexican international. I used him as a super sub less than a month ago. Put this man in the game. And we saw Pope, five-star skill moves. A bit of a reminder for you lovely gents that play pro clubs. Team of the season, there's really too many players to even start this discussion. Every single foot champs match that I go into since team of the season includes a variety of team of the season players. Some sort of combination, partnership, a mixed grab bag, variety pack. A big reason the game stays active in the later stages is because of the anticipation of team of the season. Tell me I'm wrong. I'll wait, but blue is our favorite discussion topic for a couple months easily often this promo pushes other promos that have came previously or even afterwards to a lack of relevancy or where they're kind of out of commission they lost the job nobody's buying supply and demand i went to economics in university i paid attention a little bit i can demonstrate perfectly with an x and y axis that's what i got from university studies and top of the charts it's summertime, it's hot outside, it's hot inside, summer heat. This is the Vegas pool party of all promos. And we've got an amazing ratio. The value is there, the ratings are there, the usability, short term, long term, the way you unlock the players, the grind. I've never played so many games of squad battles or division rivals because I wanted that foot item. Hold on, before you start saying no, no, no. Hold on, you disagree? Fine. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, we just got Pogba, Perisic, Kessie, Fernandez, Erickson. I've seen Kubo in motion. Ribery, Wijnaldum, Silva, Luis, Vidal, Ndombele, Mendy, Jovic, Firmino, everybody. You want to collect them all. It's like we're playing Pokemon back in the day. Rewind the years. Give me those nostalgic vibes if EA learned anything. Please apply some sort of promo, even if it's not this many high-rated players at the beginning of FIFA 21, that allows us to really grind for objectives in a fun way or to be rewarded. Give me something on the back end. Provide me with the goods. People don't leave the menus. They're grinding those menus. And I must admit, this foot item design, it's easy on the eyes. If I could swipe whatever the good direction is, I would do it if I was swiping for cards, I guess. Swiping for carts. We have hit a new all-time low. It is quarantine though. This would be a safe way of dating. And on that note, feel like we should probably wrap up the video. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to drop some love. I'm looking forward to the comments. Do not let me down. Talk to me about the promos. And we got a lot more content coming out this week ASAP, ASAP.